Hello. Hello. Hello, good, good evening. Night. How are you? How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Hello. Great. And the rest of you, how was your day? You know, I'm fine. fine okay, that's perfect. Jobs. Okay. I'm glad to have you here in class. Thank you for clicking and joining today's section. Today we will continue talking about jobs. Remember that yesterday we started to study some vocabulary about professions, occupations. So for today, we're going to um, make a review and you have to guess, you know, guess? Adivina. Yes. Okay, you have to guess, read the description, the activities that the person um, developed according to their occupation and you have to guess what is the name of that occupation in less than 30 seconds, okay? Tienen que leer la descripción de lo que hace esta persona y tratar de adivinar la ocupación antes de 30 segundos. Ok. 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 Let's start. Thirty seconds. He helps people be healthy. He is a doctor. Doctor. Doctor, that's it. Good. Next. Infirmary. Nurse. Oh, nurse. nurse. Yes. She provides patient care and carries out doctor orders. She is a nurse. Okay, next. She takes care of people did. She dentist. Is a, yes, excellent. Dentist. She takes care of animals. Hell, she is a veterinary. Veterinarian. Excellent. Let's see the next one. She promotes and facilitates learning among a group of students. She is a teacher. Yes, excellent teacher. Okay, he conducts research and performs experiments for the purpose of making new discoveries. He is a taxi driver and oh, no. scientist. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Experiments. Oh. Okay, let's continue. What is her occupation? Uh, architect. Yeah, it's architect. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. He advocates for his clients' rights. He is a lawyer. Oh. He designed software programs. He is a engineer in software. I don't know. Software engineer or computer programmer. What about this one? Plumber. Plumber. Uh -huh. Plumber. He installs and repairs pipes to carry water or gas. Plumber. He installs, operates, repairs, and maintains electrical systems. He is an electrician. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right on time, on time. Electrician. Electrician. He serves customers and drinks and food order. He is a waiter. 
He mixes and bakes ingredients to make a variety of breads and pastries. He is a chef. Baker. Uh -huh. Baker. Panadero. He mixes and bakes ingredients to make a variety of breads. Baker. He prepares meat for sale. He is a Butcher. Butcher. Un carnicero. Butcher. Yeah. Let's continue. He repairs car engines and changes tires. He is a? Mechanic. Mechanic. Excellent. Car mechanic. He has the skills and knowledge to cook, curve, and design objects made of wood. Carpenter. Next, he plays one or multiple musical uh -huh. instruments. Artist. Musician. Here I go. She vocalizes musical sounds with tone and pitch. She is a? Singer. Singer. Good. On time. She cuts perms color and styles hair. She is a hairdresser. Hairdresser. He fights fires and rescues people in danger. Firefighter. Firefighter. She looks out for the safety of a community. She is a oh, police officer. Police officer, yes, police officer. He raises the animals and grows the plants. He is a farmer. farmer. Yes, a farmer. He delivers letters and parcels. He is a postman. He's a postman. He drives trucks. A driver? I don't know. Truck driver, excellent. Truck driver. And well, that was just to review professions, occupations, and uh, some activities that they develop. And this is part of what we have been studying in the platform. And uh, well, we have also some people um, and the most common places to work, office, store, hotels. And this is in the platform. We're going to check the video, so. We have studied some professions, occupations, activities people do. So we're trying to practice vocabulary about jobs, activities, and workplaces here. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One, he's a receptionist. Two, she's a doctor. Three, she's a nurse. Four, he's a pilot. Five. She's a flight attendant. Six. He's a musician. Seven. She's a singer. Eight. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. 
Eleven. He's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. Thirteen. She's a waitress. Fourteen. He's a salesperson. Fifteen. She's a cashier. Sixteen. She's a security guard. Now let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night. Writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. A fun is activities is their new vocabulary. A cashier. So here you can see the activities that they do. For example, um, it says activities. It says wears a uniform. Is that clear? Is the meaning clear for you? Wears a uniform. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know where is wears a uh, uniform. I don't know the meaning. Es cuando usted usa algo, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir que estoy vistiendo una chaqueta, yo diría I am wearing a jacket. Wear es cuando cuando usted lleva algo puesto, algo que lleva, ajá. Entonces okay. dice, es, wears a uniform, es, se pone uniforme o usa un uniforme, wear. Ah, oh, ok. Thank Ajá. you. Si usted quiere decir, yo uso tenis para correr, I wear, I wear tennis to go running, para ir a correr. ¿Mm? Son cosas que uno lleva puestas o usa puestas, wear. So cuando dice, wears a uniform, se pone o viste un uniforme. Okay. Otra de estas, sit all day. Clear. Clear, okay. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Stands all day, is clear? Yeah. Yeah. Handles money. Works como contar dinero. Uh, 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 manipular, handle, uh -huh. handle money, manipula dinero. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's it, right? It's, creo que es. So, ahí está como lo, el vocabulario y las actividades que hacen algunas de estas personas. Y acá tenemos también lugares de trabajo. Um, y podemos hacer un, oraciones como por ejemplo a doctor works in a hospital a nurse works in a hospital too and then you can write in an office for example we can say a manager a contact an accountant works in an office. Uh -huh. An accountant works in an office. Another? 
Um, secretary works Así. in an office. Excellent. A secretary works in an office. One more. One more. Businessman. A businessman works. Complete the sentence. A businessman. A, vis a businessman uh, work, works in an office. Excellent, excellent. Now, in a store, in a store. Sales, salesperson. Okay, a salesperson works. Cashier. In a store, I have complete. A sales person. A cashier works in a store. Excellent. A cashier works in a store. Another example? A security. A security a guard. Works in a store. Yes, excellent. Now, in a hotel. In a hotel. And receptionist works in a hotel. Okay, excellent. A receptionist works in a hotel. Another example, como decíamos botones? La persona que ayuda con las maletas? Empezaba con B. Ayer lo vimos. I don't remember. No remember. No remember. Okay. It's Bell Hop. Bell Hop. Bell como campanita. Remember, vamos a ir para acá. Aquí está. Ya les digo qué letra era. La B. Bell Hop. Bell Hop. Ajá. Ese era el, el, el botón. Es Bell Hop. Okay, now let's make a sentence. A bellhop works in a hotel. In a hotel. How do you say a recamarera? It's a, a chambermaid. A chambermaid? The personal, the personal of cleaning works in the hotel. Ah, okay, uh-huh. That's great. Now, this is about work, different workplaces. Well, and here we have, y aquí está el vocabulario que vieron en el video. Wears a uniform, stands all day, sits all day, handles money, talks to people, works at night, works hard, makes a lot of money. Can you say sentences using this vocabulary? For example, we can say a doctor, a doctor makes a lot of money. Another example. A, a accountant work and sits all day. Okay, an accountant sits all day. Excellent example. Another. The police officer wears a uniform. A police officer wears a uniform. Excellent. Another example. Who works at night? The receptionist works, talks to people. Talks to people, uh-huh, a receptionist talks to people. Great. Attend the, the people in the lobby. Assist people in the lobby, yeah. They take calls. Take calls, excellent, uh-huh. 
Okay. Then you have a conversation, the topic of the conversation is that he works in a hotel. Okay, as you see, there are two ladies. These two ladies, these two ladies are talking. You can see the picture about the ladies. What do you think is his occupation? What does he do? Don't you remember? Es similar a recepcionista, dijimos ayer. Front desk clerk. He is a front desk clerk. He is a manager, no. And probably he is a manager of the supervisor. Mm -hmm. And this man probably is a guest. El probablemente because sea guest. In, the, in the conversation, Angela said that actually he is the manager. Okay, is the manager. Mm -hmm. Is the manager. Okay, let's listen to the conversation and then we're going to practice it. Page 51, exercise three, conversation. He works in a hotel. Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. Do you have any question about vocabulary? Desk clerk. Uh, front desk clerk, la palabra sí, front desk clerk, es la persona que está en el escritorio de al frente. Es, es como un recepcionista, front desk clerk. Sería él. Okay. El, este que les estoy señalando aquí es front desk clerk. Ok. Mm -hmm. Another question about pronunciation or vocabulary? No. No. Okay, so I'm going to create sections. I'm going to take a picture of the conversation and I will send it to your WhatsApp group. So you can practice in pairs, practice the conversation in pairs. Okay. There you have the conversation in your WhatsApp group. I'm going to create this section so you can practice that conversation. Okay. Okay, remember to click join or unirse.
Hola. 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 Hola, ¿se me escucha? Hola. 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 Finish Hola. practicing, right? No puedo practicar. Ok, vi que Creo alguien que no... Se, no se escuchaba. Eh, bueno, yo no escuchaba a Roxana. Mm, tuvieron un poquito de problemas de audio. Ok, creo que ya todos nos faltan todavía. Ok, I think everybody is here. Let's analyze a little bit about the... the grammar that you practice there. Ok, as you can see here in this conversation, um, there are some questions and this is what we're going to discuss about. Vamos a estar practicando las preguntas. Aquí son más que todo uh, WH questions. Okay. For example, where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? In a hotel, right? Do you have any brothers, Clarissa? A sister. A sister. Ah, okay. Where does your sister work? Um, my sister work in a factory. Okay. Your sister works in a factory. Okay. That's nice. What about you, Margarita? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. I have brother and sister too. Okay, how many brothers do you have? Brother, three. Three brothers. Yeah. Where do they work? Mm, my brother is singer. Uh, is a singer. Yes. Ah, okay, good. Okay, and we have another here. How does he like it? Mm. How does he like it? That question is about the way if he enjoys or hates or loves what he or she do. Let's see more examples of that question here in the grammar focus. Listen and then I'm going to explain. Page 52, exercise four, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. Okay. As you can see, those are WH questions. Vamos a estar trabajando con WH questions. Si se fijan aquí, es, bueno, cada bloque es un set de preguntas para lo, es, where do you work in a hospital? What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? Cuando ven esta pregunta, no dice, yes, I like it, o no, I like it, sino que contestan de esta manera, I really like it. El how do you like it es, um, Es para preguntarle qué tanto o de qué forma le gusta su trabajo. ¿De verdad le gusta? ¿Le gusta su trabajo? Él contesta, I really like it. 
En este caso contesta, it's okay. Está bien. Y aquí ellos lo odian. How do they like it? They hate it. Mm -hmm. Lo odian. Do you have a job, Carla? Yes. How do you like your job? I really like it. Oh, that's nice. Let's go for another. Roxana, do you have a job? Hello, Roxana. Do you have a job, Roxana? Susan, do you have a job? Yes, I um How do you like um, it? Uh, I it's okay. It's okay. Good. Patricia, do you have a job? I really like it. All oh, right. You really like your job. What do you do? What do you do is que hace, a que se dedica. What do you do, Patricia? It, I am. I am. Eh, Hannes Money. Oh, you handle money. Are you a cashier? Are you a cashier? Okay, um, we will continue with this. Do you have any question? Tienen preguntas acerca de acá? No questions. No questions. Okay, so if you have your notebook close to you, you can develop this exercise. Para practicar las preguntas, lo que hemos visto acá arriba, las WH questions, vamos a completar estas pequeñas conversaciones. Solo escriban las respuestas. El número uno está parcialmente hecho. Por ejemplo, acá, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. Para saber a veces qué es lo que nos pide, por ejemplo, hay que leer la respuesta a veces para saber cuál es la pregunta. Luego el número uno, pues el número uno, what, do, y aquí las otras dos que faltan. Y así para que no lo copien todo. Les voy a dar unos cinco minutos para que traten de resolver las conversaciones. ¿Qué es lo que falta ahí? Voy a poner así para acá para que puedan ver. Okay, try to complete in your notebooks.
Finish. Okay. Is everybody finished? Finish. Okay, a uh, volunteer for number one. A volunteer? What does your sister do? Okay, continue. My sister, she is a nurse. How, how does she like light? It's difficult, but she loves. Okay, very nice. You can see the answers there. They are correct. We are going to practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. What does your sister do? What does your sister do? Okay, everybody, you can repeat everybody. Let's repeat. What does your sister do? What does your sister do? What to do? Sister do. One more time. What does your sister do? What, what does your sister, sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. My, My sister, 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 sister. How does she like it? How does How she does like, she like does it? She like it. Very good. It's difficult, but she loves it. It's, it's, it's difficult, difficult, but she loves it. She loves it. Okay. In English, um, nosotros tenemos la costumbre como se nos nosotros repetimos. Palabra por palabra, ¿verdad? En inglés se tienden a unir sonidos. Como por ejemplo, aquí. How does she like it? Like it. Es como que se une. Ajá. Vamos a repetirlo. How does she like it? How does she How like, does it? She like it? Uh -huh. It's difficult, but she loves it. It's difficult, it's but she loves it. Uh -huh. It's difficult, but she loves it. It's difficult, it's difficult but she loves it. it. Okay, very good. You're doing a great job. Uh, volunteer for number two? Me. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. He He's a front desk clerk. Oh. Um, wait, how does he like it? He doesn't okay. really like it. Okay, good, good job. Uh, I only heard, escuché como ese acá. Okay, the answers okay. are here. Where does your brother work? Acuérdense que en pregunta ya no agregamos la S. Ni en oración negativa, solo en afirmativas. ¿Okay? ok. Pero las respuestas estaban correctas, correctas. Solo eso que escuché una S acá en work. En pregunta no, no hacemos eso. Pero lo demás, excelente. Let's practice pronunciation. Where does your brother work? Where does your Where brother, brother work? work? Where does your brother... In a hotel. In a hotel. hotel. He's a front desk clerk. He's, He's a front desk clerk. Oh, how does he like it? Uh, how oh, does he like how does, does he like it? Like it? Excellent. Okay, a volunteer for number three. Volunteer for number three. Me. Okay. What do you what do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. How do they 
like it. Mm. Okay, vamos where? a ver. Ajá, where do don't they? Remember where do they go? Mm. Where do they work? Work. Ajá. Aquí vamos a ver. Okay. Acá está. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. Where do they work? Y aquí les contesta en una oficina en la ciudad, in an office in the city. Okay, now let's practice pronunciation. How do your parents like their jobs? How do your parents, do your like, parents their like their jobs? Their jobs? Okay, one more time. How do your parents like their jobs? How do you buy like their job? Oh, I guess I like them. Oh, I guess I they, guess they, like, they like, them. like them. I don't remember. Where do they work? I don't, I don't remember. remember. Where, Where do they, they, work? they work? In an office in the city. In, in an, an office, office in the city. In the city. city. Okay, now number four, volunteer for number four. Me. Okay. What do you do? I am a student. I see. How do you like your class? Tired are great. I like them a lot. Okay, I heard you answered them correctly. Uh huh. What do you do and how and like, excellent. Now let's repeat, what do you do? What do you do? What I'm do a you student. Do? I'm a student. I see, how do you like your classes? I see. I see, how, how, do, you how like do you like classes? your classes? They're great, I like them a lot. They're great. They're great. great. I like, I like them, them a lot. A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Questions about this? Tienen alguna pregunta? Tal vez con el vocabulario. All clear? No questions? No questions. Okay, so we can continue with the next part. Um, it's about pronunciation. How do you join the sounds? And let me see. It's about the reduction of do and does. When you say reduction, es lo que les estaba diciendo que a veces se unen. So let's pay attention to this video so you can. Notice Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work. As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. 
So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of the does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English. And notice the reduction of do and does. Okay, so as you could see in this video, como pudieron ver acá, what este, do they do? Este, la plataforma, recuerden que ya estamos en la sección 3. Aquí en este video se les explica que la reducción, en este caso la reducción de do o das, ¿verdad? Cuando unimos ese sonido es para sonar más natural cuando esté, esté pronunciando. Entonces aquí se las pone cómo se escribe correctamente. Where do you work? Si pronunciamos cada palabra es where do you work? Ella unido o, o reducido suena así. Where, where What do, do they work? do? Now, I would like for you to practice in also. Igual acá. Where do you work? Es la misma. Luego. Where does he work? ¿A dónde trabaja él? Where does he work? Unimos does he. Cuando hacemos la pregunta, tenemos que unir el does y el he. Where does he work? Does he? Where does he work? Okay. Where do they work? Unimos el do y el they. Where do they work? Así suena al pronunciarlo. Where do they work? En la pregunta, what do you do? ¿Qué haces tú? Unimos el do you y suena como, como una R. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Es un esto. What does he do? What does she do? Or what does he do? Dependiendo. What do they do? Unimos el do y el de. What do they do? Estamos... Por eso es que suena más rápido y entre más rápido lo, lo pronuncie, suena más natural. Esto se logra con la práctica. Acuérdese que usted se puede meter acá eh, al ejercicio, le puede dar pausa, puede repetir en su casa cuantas veces sea necesario. No sé cómo van con los ejercicios de la plataforma. Estamos al día, ya estamos en la sección 3. ¿Cómo van? ¿Están al día? ¿Les falta? ¿Necesitan ayuda? ¿Hay algún tema que les gustaría reforzar antes de que continuemos? Mm, sí, no. For me, everything it is okay. I don't know the rest. Okay, good. And for the rest of you, is everything okay? Para los demás está todo bien. Van, van entendiendo. Vamos bien. Creo que sí vamos bien. Okay, me imagino que sí. Ok, very good. So, vamos a, a, a seguir desarrollando la plataforma. Si no hay preguntas o algún tema que le gustara reforzar, vamos a seguir así. So, mañana veríamos un poco más, practicar un poquito más las um, WH questions. Con lo de la pronunciación, ya les dije lo que pueden hacer es ir a la plataforma y ponerse a pronunciar eso, la reducción del do y el um, con el cómo se unen, where do you, where do you work, what do you do, what do they do y así sucesivamente. Para, igual las conversaciones las pueden poner para que también vayan pronunciando con más agilidad, para que sean más rápidas pronunciando 
traten de poner las conversaciones, los ejercicios de conversación, repitan la conversación, póngale pausa y repita usted solo en casa y espero que vayan al día con los ejercicios. Recuérdense que al final de la unidad 3, de la sección 3, que es la que estamos desarrollando ahorita, hay un examen, hay un midterm examen. Tienen que hacer el examen y igual si tienen problemas con algún ejercicio pueden escribir al grupo para poder ayudarles o me pueden escribir a mí directamente. Andrea, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? Y es um, the exam number three, eh, saldría todo eh, como la primera parte, la segunda y tercera parte que hemos visto. Sí, en el, en el examen que está al final de la sección 3 sale todo. Sale la sección 1, sección 2 y sección 3. Ok. Bueno, y okay. luego al, al final de la sección 5, ahí está todo. Ese es el final y ahí viene de todo. Por eso es importante, si hay algún tema o algún ejercicio que se les haya dificultado, podemos hacer un repaso porque vamos bien. Creo que vamos hasta adelantados. Así que podemos hacer eso o podemos practicar un poco más la pronunciación. Ahí vamos a ir calculando qué podemos hacer, pero por lo general ahorita veo que van bien. Eh, acuérdense que lo pueden repetir el examen. Si de repente se equivocó o le da una respuesta mala, acuérdense que esta plataforma es de tener paciencia porque a veces, bueno, hubo un ejercicio de que incluso yo me estuve matando porque yo decía, ¿por qué me la toma mala? Y era que estaba formulando las preguntas y la costumbre es que al, al formular una pregunta uno pone el signo de interrogación al final. Pero eso era lo incorrecto, la plataforma no reconocía el signo de pregunta. Entonces formulamos la pregunta y la dejamos sin el signo de interrogación y así las tomó buena. Lo mismo puede pasar en el examen. Usted hágalo y si alguna le sale mal, la puede repetir. Y no hay límite de veces. Puede repetir el examen hasta que se saque el 10 y esté contenta. Y la nota queda registrada ahí en su progreso. Así es que bueno, que okay. hizo. So, vamos a parar acá la clase de ahora. Gracias por tomar la clase, por su participación y las veo mañana, primero Dios. Ok, okay thank so. you, good night. Thank good you, night, teacher. sleep good well. Night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye.